So, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at Enterprise E's lineup. So this is a fleet of ships built by one player. His name is Enterprise E and he is with us today. Say hello. hello. You're inside your shuttle, yeah? Yep. Beautiful. So the first ship we're taking a look at is this one here. What's it called? It's Cargo Transfer Ship Type Alpha. That's very what I'm nice, calling it at least. Very nice. And uh, I take it it's to pull a bunch of cargo containers. Yep, it can chain dock as many as you want. So... I mean, they've only got six, and each one contains the current in-game currency. Ah, metal grills. Yeah, each one carries over 6,000. 6,000 metal grills, so 60,000, no, 600,000 credits worth. Hmm. Wow, so what's that, half a million credits per container? Something like that. That's not bad at all. All right. Well, um, I guess we'd uh, take a quick look at. I think we I'm opening do... up a cargo container as we speak. Oh, so we okay. Can have a look inside it. All right. Let's like take the a look. one closest to the core ship. I see it. I'm going to come in here. Hold on. Ship seems to be moving a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the ship's been bumped, probably by me. Got it. Oh wow! Look at that. Just grills. Told you. We go down, we got more grills. Yep. Pure grills. Just grills. Grills, baby. Grills. Okay, cool. Oh, and obviously if we go upstairs... More grills! More. <laughs> so physical transportation of the uh, server currency. Yep. Very nice. I'm just going to go and grab my camera. All right, I'm back on board. Okay, so... Um, All right, I'm just going to hop out from the other side so I can get yeah. my shuttle again. Your shuttle floated away. All right, so what was the name of this one again? Cargo Transfer Ship Type Alpha. Cargo Transfer Ship Type Alpha. Okay, and then we'll go and take a look at the next one. Which is Type Beta. I'm just going to quickly... Have a look at the bridge of the transport ship. Nice chair. I think you'd see that pretty quickly. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one then. The next one, I would suggest we look inside in astronaut mode. Okay. You'll soon realise why. That's cool. Where about? Might as well show you a cargo container first. Yeah, well, I'm just, outside. just going around the outside of it at the moment. So, what's it called? Cargo transfer ship type beta. Cargo transfer ship type beta. A lot more heavyweight. Bigger yep. cargo. I like the cargo container design. Yeah, it fits yeah. in really nicely. 24 of them. Each one has over 9,000 grills. Over 9,000! So this thing can hold over 100,000 grills easily. Like over 144,000, give or take. Oh, hello. There's Yelby. Hi there. Hi. Where's <laughs> Where's Enterprise? Over the other side. Other side. No, as in, you you were looking oh. towards the Albion. I was near it. <laughs> All right. So where are we going inside one of these then? Show us. Show us. Um, this one here will do it. Okay. Floating over. Oh, wow. Okay, so the organisation is a bit different. Yep. Yeah, again, raw grills for mass transportation. Nice. Each and I take it exactly the same. They're all the same. Yeah, it's a little bit easier to get at the grills, isn't it, with that design? Yeah, or one level. Yeah. Right, now we might, might want to go inside. Okay. Entrance lead, right at the front. Lead the way. Nice surfing there, Yelby. Mm, real speed. <laughs> I've been practicing. He's been practicing his surfing skills. And this one does use gravity. Okay. I'm in. Very basic core room. All it really needs. Okay, with this one, I once we get past the door, I'll close it, then we can switch to a certain type of gravity to get us to the far end of the corridor really quickly. Do I? Yeah. It's this one here, Tom. 
Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> okay. Considering the size of the corridor, it was the only logical option. Boom. And the one closer to the door now will put, we'll put you me back in the, the right way up. Hey, Yelby. Ah! <laughs> I was going to say, open Oops. the door. Yep. Three warp cores in this one. Oh, wow. Three warp cores? Well, it needs to pull a lot of weight, so... And it has four nacelles, as you saw and on the outside. And it's got force fields to stop yeah. you from falling in them. I love it. On both. Nice I'd design. I love building this. Warp cores can turn off at a moment's notice, as I've just done here. Oh, yeah. They're turned off now. Like it. Yelby... <laughs> he happens to be checking out the uh, checking out the warp core. <laughs> Yelby, what's up? Uh, you know, I'm a... <laughs> we're only around the middle of the ship, guys. We've still got another bit right at the back to get to. What really? There's more. Yep. Gravity works in the exact same way. <laughs> Yelby's just like, see ya. Yeah, see you down there. Tom, same as last time. Okay, let's do this. Woo! Oh. Uh, um, yeah, be. I'd suggest. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Yelby! What happened? Only Yelby would do that. Yelby, <laughs> what? You trapped. Hold on. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Look. <laughs> Look. Wait, what? Why won't it work? Hang on. This is oh, hilarious. Right, right here. Right here, look. Press O on it. That's far too much work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? This looked open. Hi, General. Not, it's glass. Oh, yeah. oh my god. We welcome are doing to the a stream. stream welcome. Looking around my ships, by yeah, the way. Welcome to the stream. So basically, uh, we've got Y hole containment in your engines here. Yep. Y hole reactors. Ah, Yelby's got on. Are you attached to this thing now? No. No, he's just using it to jump on. <laughs> he's still in the gravity. Oh my god, he's glitching! Oh, he's alright, he's back now. <laughs> he's all standing right. on one of the Y-hole reactors. <laughs> I love it. These Y-hole reactors are really cool, mate. Yep. They sort of go all greyish. That's just the visual effects relating to these force fields. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. It makes it look like they're being scanned or something. I don't know, like there's for free, some or, kind or of Or being used in general. <laughs> hey, I found something else in your engines. <laughs> it's like that scene in uh, Star Trek Into Darkness when uh, they get flushed. <laughs> they get flushed through the engines. There we go. It was inside the Y-hole reactor. Nice. <laughs> Trust Yelby to get inside there. All right. Only so... Yelby would do that. Right, let's get on to the next ship then. Yeah, and Tom might as well use the same way to get back using the um, gravity because okay. it works in both directions. All righty. Eh. No. Eh. Ah. Ah. It's an easy enough, easy enough idea. Here we go. Oh, I'm here. And I might now... as well just bypass this and what just the... keep going. Oh, okay. All the way, guys. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. Son of a... Give me a minute. It's like I'm flying. <laughs> Yelby, this time use the proper gravity, please. I'm flying, I'm flying. What the? You're still 240 meters behind. I'm coming, Oop, I'm coming. Go. Here he comes, the <laughs> flying Tom. Boom. Oh wow, what the... <laughs> I think I landed same smart gravity, on you then. Same as last time, the one closer to the door puts you back into proper gravity. Oh, Yelby! <laughs> Yelby's the he's trying to launch out the ship. Ready? Goodbye! Fire, <laughs> Fire the Yelby! Alright. I'm going to get Only my camera. Yelby would do that. I've got my camera back. Okay, so let's move on to the next ship. Next one's the biggest. The next one is the biggest. Okay, the Enterprise. what is the name of this ship? That's the Enterprise E. So this is the redundant one. I got a comment on my uh, when I did the review for this. 
because the video was called Enterprise E by Enterprise E. That's and the they, old one. And they said that my YouTube title was 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 um, redundant. <laughs> well, as of this shit, admittedly is. And I was like, but dude, it was an Enterprise E, and his name is Enterprise E. <laughs> Don't hate yep. me. Anyway, so here it is, the Enterprise E by Enterprise E. Um, yeah. It looks really nice, especially when you're coming, looking at it from a distance. It's perfect. Yep. I've had a lot of fun building this over the Beautiful two months line. I was working on it. Mm. The lines are really nice. So what we'll do is we'll take a quick look around the outside and then uh, we'll have to go through some of the major rooms. Because otherwise we'll spend half an hour. <laughs> like the main shower bay, for example. Yeah, because we'll spend half an hour on this without even noticing it. Well, one room that I'm definitely going to show you is um, the brig. Okay. Because remember the remember the first time with the old one. <laughs> is it Khan? Is Khan in there? Uh, Lol. No. Wrong ship. Who did they put in the brig in this one? This one. It's near to the centre of the saucer section. Yep. Von Doom is doing the right thing. To get to the main shuttle bay. Okay, I'm too big to get in from here. You first. So. Oh. We have a number of vessels inbound to this shuttle. <laughs> yeah, but there's no more available docking ports. That's all right. There's only three a minute. Eh, right, gravity okay. in here does have permission modules. I'm in gravity. Hello, Plus. Hello. Oh, yeah. This is the center of the saucer section, guys. <laughs> nice. And Von Doom is on the correct level, actually, for the... Br Let's have a look at the brig. So, down one floor, guys. Tom, back here. Oh. Everyone else went the other way. <laughs> Just one floor. Okay. All right, this way for the brig. The cells are all open at the moment. Oh, nice. No, it's not my shell again. Stop. <laughs> Got him. Stop. No. Sorry, <laughs> <Bye>, LB. <laughs> Tom, look at this. That's cool. <laughs> nice. I really like Proof that, that it works. works. Nice job, Kupu. All triggered by this one activation module here. So you can't actually do it yourself with R. That's got really... I've got it so it controls the lights at the same time. It's factioned. Nice. So did you notice those blue lights that are turned off around the um, entrances? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I t have them so they turn on at the same time as the force field. Good idea. To make it look more like it's been activated. Yeah, yeah. Right, should we head up to the bridge next? Hell yeah. Back this way then. Oh Just my. jump all the way up. You what? All the way up. Ah, no, no, I'm at the bottom. Oh, oh no, no, Tom. Oh. <laughs> Von Doom, have you done the exact same? Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, so you got to go from opposite corners. Okay. <laughs> opposite sides, yeah. What is this? Not made it yet. This is like Uncharted or Tomb like Raider. And Yelby's already made down it. captain's chair. I On made the it. Oh, Fun nice. Fact, uh, I'll take up my new, usual space. Federation. So they can have a, a, a full crew in here. Hey, Tom, shouldn't we be on the opposite sides? Yeah, we should be on the opposite sides, yeah. Yeah. Yelby, may I ask you to keep your weapon away? <laughs> Don't worry, this is normal. Good. Gotta go that 
I think something else is shooting us. Ah, <laughs> General is head bobbing. <laughs> yeah, I've turned Need we got some alien, a alien vessels inbound. <laughs> yeah, plus nine should be able to do the rest from there. Alright, we're Ooh. all up here now. My calves hurt. <laughs> from jumping, <laughs> from jumping up the elevator shaft, you mean? No wonder everyone in Starfleet so fit. <laughs> right, there is a, a conference room as well. Like you know, like in, in pretty much every single Federation ship, there's a briefing room. Okay. On deck one, Yelby's right at it now. Proper Ooh. chairs as well, so you can actually sit down. Works quite well, if you ask me. Get a good view of the end of uh, Captain, as well. uh, I have Tom, a we problem. Can see the top of your ship um, from here. The, the replicators are uh, not working and stuff. <laughs> I, I, I need more bacon. No. All, I, all I got was tur bacon. Yeah, well, you don't <laughs> know nothing about ship design, mate. I <laughs> think I may <laughs> oh, it's because I don't know nothing about Star Wars. What's that? I never heard of it. I don't know, mate. What me worry. I love right. it, mate. This is a great little room. Yep. And the only main room I'm going to show you from here now is main is the um, very back of the ship around main engineering. Okay. All the way down here, guys. All the way down. Now we go straight past the core room on the way. Oof. If you want to see the core room quickly on the way past, there it is. Look at all those bl computers in there. Where'd he in go? particular, the jump drive ones. Oh, there's Yelby. Lul. <laughs> wow, computer systems. Look how many jump drive systems there are. Damn. All nine of them. That's a lot of good jump drives. Okay, where are we off? Towards the back of the ship. Why no, it's where plus nine's heading. There he goes. They're both just chilling. This way, guys. Just gonna go right to the end. Nah, nah. Are you nah. going to race? Nah. Are we racing, nah. are we, General? Nah. Yeah. Are we racing, racing are mate. we? I'm catching you up, mate. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yeah, Tom, I am. Do the diagonal. I no. am. I'm catching no. you, General. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ah, oh, General, General, yeah. why are you walking so slow, man? Why, why are you, you walking, walking so slow? <laughs> I'll beat you, though. Hey, you want to see a magic trick? What? Welcome to your hacker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Main engineering. Epic. So many blue lights and red lights. And I've just turned it off. Yeah, just like with the previous ship. Mm. And the flicker switch. Ah. Nice. Nice. I like and the pipes. And I've triggered it. I've got a system in here so that as soon as the ship goes to red alert, mm -hmm. the if there is a force field erected around the warp ball, which protects it. Hmm. Well, hold on. It looks like someone else has arrived. Oh, really? Who? Oh, 3.9 kilometers away. There's a way. I see blurb. Oh, Blurb's <laughs> finally here. Awesome. Welcome, yeah, Blurb. You're welcome, Blurb. So, where are we uh, going next? Um, that's pretty much all the main rooms in this ship. Oh, right, really? That's cool. Okay, well, that means we can get on to the next one then. Take us to your hangar. There's a hangar at the back. Okay. And we can actually just jump out, use parkour around the outside of the ship. Oh, that sounds badass. I'm on my way. Oh yeah, yeah you, you want another race, do you, General? Oh, yeah. You want another race, you do you? Race, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tom, stop where you are. You've got a little bit. You've got to go down one of the, down quick, one. Quick, quick! Before General catches up with me. Oh no, he's, he's already, already here. It. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, General! <laughs> All right. Yeah, and from here you get a really good view of the outside. Oh wow, this is awesome. Hey, Tom. Yeah. How are you two breathing? Uh, I just ran out of air. Okay. But it's okay, I fixed it. I'll I let you it. off, yeah? I fixed I'll let it. You off from the right, whole up here, guys. Thing. 
up here you can get to the main shuttle bay from the outside pretty easily. Alright, let's go for a little walk. Oh nice, we're activating our magnetic clamping boots. That's right. Well, I'm already wearing an EV suit. Nice. So which ship is next then? Next will be the Ares. Cool. The LB, you might want to find your way back to the shuttle bay. I'll quickly hop into a shuttle. Up we go. I reckon I can't get back on my ship. One way to find out. Huh? Ah. Uh. Yeah, General. If you. I got it. I think. Hold on, guys. If necessary, I'll. I'll kind of let you use the my shuttle just to get to it. It's all right. I got it. No! Don't squish me! <laughs> <laughs> General here. Uh. Uh. There's a gravity module I'm in there. In. I'm in. Right, what about plus? I'm right behind you. You on? Yep. Nice. Let's get over to the next one. Which is this one right here? Rickard, what's this next one called? Ares. It's the Ares class from the um, Axanar film. Ares which class. Which is easy to find on YouTube. From the Axanar film. Sorry if I just crashed into you really violently. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> It's okay. The camera's bigger than it looks. It's got a stabilizer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. This shuttle's got a decent engine, so it's not really an issue. Okay. So, I take it this is a small, <laughs> sort of light frigate sort of type ship, is it? Something like that, yeah. With forward and rear facing weapons. I'm not going to even test any of them here, because the rear ones in particular would kill pretty much everyone in one shot. Oh, that's good. Swarmers. Okay, then I'm gonna fire him. Oh God, no! <laughs> Don't even try it's, it. It's too doomy. All right. There so... is a very basic interior as well. All right. Well, we'll take a little look at it in a sec. Just make sure we uh, let people see the ship first before we go inside. Wow. What time period is this one from? Just before the original series. Before nice. the um, and the Enterprise original yeah, one was cool. built, I like the I like the harsher vertical in the center there. I always liked that about the old ones. I think the new ones are mm. too sleek. Alrighty, and I'm on board. Hup. Lovely. The, you <coughs> might as well use gravity in here, but it's not yeah. much of an interior to speak of. Just one little room at the far end of it. That's all right. It's worth looking. This place seems awfully familiar. It does, doesn't it? I use the exact same kind of corridor designs in pretty much every single ship I've got. It just works. Also, red alert system. Which is standard for pretty much every single one of my ships. Red alert! Weapons. And out we go. It's like a fairground ride. You sort of come in... Mm. You look around and then you go back. Yeah. That's cool. And next we might as well look at the small shuttle parked behind this, the Type 6. Oh, is there a shuttle? Um, a separate shuttle, the one I built for you a while back, remember? With mm -hmm. the um, yeah, I remember. Enterprise that you were working on. Yep, yep. Yeah, and you asked me to make a Type 6 shuttle, which is yep. right behind us. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah, these shuttles are cool. So, Type 6 shuttle. Yeah, yep. I remember it. I made one as well in the end. And then we had everybody put theirs in the shuttle bay. Because everyone oh, did it yeah. a little bit differently. I remember this. Yeah. Cute, but it still works. Nice. Very basic shielding on it as well. 2.8k, which is all it really needs. And enough engine power to take off from a planet's surface. Quality. 
All right. That's what I got going on on the Farscape, too. Exactly. 2.8k shields. <laughs> well, it's the best. Right. So that's Should we that go one. on to the next one? Yeah, yeah, sure. What's the, what's the next one? Um, I think we'll go for the Sabre since it's a lot closer. Right here. Uh, okay. And if memory serves, I put a shuttle in each of the two shuttle bays. What's the Sabre? Sabre class. It's something that appeared in... Um, it's kind of like TNG era. Why does it say USS? Whoa! What's it say? USS? Jaeger. Jaeger. I've never seen one Hold on, like who this. was that who just flew into me a moment ago? Don't know. Look, wait, what, what, what's the uh, time period for this one? Cause... TNG. Really? Yeah. Never seen this one before. This one's really it, it interesting. It could have been in any one of those, you know, massive shots. Who, who here has seen the film knows. First Contact? Yeah, I've seen it. In the the battle of Sector 001, this is one of the ship classes that was there. Oh, <laughs> what? Well, ah, uh, right, I see. You mean along with the uh, Firefly and the TARDIS and... Oh, is this one of those ships that got no, blown it was, up? No, it was next to the yeah. USS Cannon Fodder. In was it? The, also. Uh, <laughs> the USS never had a chance. Uh, yeah, those the, two, uh, those guys. The USS yeah. one-shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, if you come Boom. in here, I have a way of blocking access to the core room during red alert situations. All right, I'm finally heading my way inside the thing. So, wait, you've got a what? Red alert system on this, but I've set up force fields in that corridor you're in right now. Mm hmm. So oh, I've caught blurb in the middle of it. You've got felt. <laughs> oh, that's cool, though, because they had those in um, TNG. Yeah. They used to put them on all the time. Yeah, and this ship also has a rear facing tractor beam and stuff like that. Activate the force fields on deck nine. Yeah, something like that. I like it. And it has rear-facing swarm arrays as well, so it can pack a punch. What's here? Oh, it's another hangar bay. There's ah, two of them on this ship. Ah, now I see. I like bad, those eh? force fields. That's a cool feature. Very I simple. I had a lot of fun with that. Very simple, but, you know. For some reason, my uh, my camera ship just, like, wrecks <coughs> the, everything. Mm. Oops. And next is the USS Geronimo. Geronimo! So, the USS Jaeger, which was a what class? Sabre class. Sabre class, yes. Do you know what it kind of looks like? kind of looks like a Klingon ship going backwards with the cells where the guns are supposed to be. It does to a degree. A bit like a Katinga. Anyway, whatever. Right, I like it. I haven't seen a it's Star Trek ship that ahead. shape before. Yes. Hmm. All right, dead ahead. So this one, what's the name of this one? USS Geronimo. USS Geronimo. Which I did build in-game in the last universe. Which is why there's lava on the front of the nacelles instead of the red lights. Since when does... Uh, just to answer Reza on the stream, um, the game has had force fields for a couple patches. I think they're available in uh, most of the colours. They, they work just like doors, but you can see through them and they glow. Red, blue, yellow force fields. Red, blue, yellow, yeah. But when the, in Star Trek, when the, the people accidentally like, touch the force fields, they appear to be blue in colour. Yeah, they which did. Which is why I went for that. Yeah, they did, yeah. They were invisible until you actually inter interacted with them, weren't they? Exactly. Basically, they, they function a lot like doors, Reza, but what's neat about them is they have the transparent texture and you only see the first facet. So they have the appearance of being super thin uh, if you build a, a whole blanket of them. It's pretty neat. Yep. Plus okay. that scan line effect is... All right, if you want to look inside, I've opened up the, the airlock on this side. Okay, coming over to where your shuttle is. Right, I see it. There is gravity in there with permission modules. Whoa! <laughs> Calm down, Blurb. <laughs> and Blurb's like, ram the dock with my needle ship. Where did Blurb go? Oh, crap. Um. Ah! <laughs> I don't see him. I just fell all the way down. Well, he was there, and then I think he came He's out of He's now 90 his... metres away. Yeah, I Whoa! Think... 
I think when he got out of his ship, he um. He removed the core without getting out first. Yeah, but then it made him go backwards. You know, it made him go away mm. somewhere. Whatever. Right. Okay. Got to travel slow. Holy crap! Medical cabinets <laughs> work now. Yeah, medical cabinets. They worked for a while. They're awesome. <laughs> Yeah, on this ship, with both of the secondary hulls, they both have salvager arrays oh, and yeah. tractor beams. The rocket launchers look awesome when you fire them down these corridors. Come on, why isn't it firing? Oh, look at that! Did you see that? It's I've like, seen them before. It looks epic. It's like a square that just goes down the corridor. Everyone should fire them all at once. Yes! Everyone right. should die! <laughs> By the way, Blurb, my ask right, is right. to use just a core in the area because of the number of ships. Oh, sorry. And what guys, with this ship, as standard, red alert system. Yeah, medical, medical areas. Medical and storage, but there's also storage at these locations here. Mm, nice. Plenty of systems for this where ship. Where does this go? Is this where we came? Yeah. I'm lost already. Where's that go, Plus? Uh, it's just, it, sure. That's just the corridor on the other side, going the far end of the ship on the other oh, end. So oh, so that's okay. the other side, I got it. We're right in the centre, at the moment. And the shuttle bays, I don't have access from here, just to make it a bit easier on me with the construction of it. Cool. But we can access them from the outside. All we need to do is get back into our shuttles, then we can just Wait. fly down there. So you have to put your spacesuits to get into the shuttle bay. Yep. You need to do a spacewalk. Hey, look, Rick, Rick Berman said that it would be more suspenseful. Guys, don't forget to come out of the gravity first. Like I did. <laughs> oh, we mean... Oh, crap. <laughs> <coughs> Wait, what am I grinding into? Me. Whoops. Alright, I'm down by the shuttle bay. I'll open up the one on this side. Ooh. Basic little shuttle bay design, easy to fit into. Ah. Just like that. Wow. Using the, I haven't updated it for the new up, new ones though, but the old ones still work. It's still using the old docking. <laughs> yeah, I need to adjust it for that. <laughs> It'll be easy enough to adjust. But yeah, it's easy to adjust. I haven't gone around to it yet. Yeah. Is that mount uh, traversable by a player? No. You have to spacewalk, like at okay. the end of that movie, where they fight the Borg. <laughs> on the navigational <laughs> dish. I'm not, I'm not some little animal you could just run over, you know. I didn't know you were sat right behind my shuttlecraft, <laughs> you fool. There he is. Three, have you both aligned? Papa. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for this ship. Okay, whoa! Um, Von What's Doom. next? I suggest you move up. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> next, there's only one more ship in the area. The Norway class. Okay. So what's that one based on? This one, I haven't seen in any episodes or anything. To be completely honest. You haven't what? I, this I don't believe is shown in any Star Trek episodes. It's, it's like a Klingon war bird. Not one hundred percent. I was just gonna say the same thing. <laughs> that it looks like a, a Klingon ship made a baby with Voyager. Well, I Point. don't know. I've seen a, I've seen a ship that has the same front end, and I've sh seen a ship that has the same nacelles, but I've never seen them both together. Well, there's an entrance right here, Tom, for the main shuttle bay, which is pretty much at the right right at the top of the ship. Hmm. Okay. Um, Emperor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tom, you gotta look at him. What's he doing? He got his head stuck in the roof. Oh. I, I was being flung about on on top of the roof. Whoa! This one <coughs> looks huge. Do you know what? This one looks huge. What the ship? Yeah, I'm I'm just looking around the outside of it, and I'm just seeing interior everywhere. There is a. Yeah, inside it is kind of hollow. Enterprise, hmm? you should get a prize. You don't know what for. What? For the most original names. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So... In here, Tom, there is gravity with permission. 
So I, I'm on my way. All right then, guys. So we got this is the last ship. Uh, if you missed any of the ships that we've been looking at, then there will be a past broadcast archived, and that'll be going up at the end of the stream. So don't worry. Um, we're going to go and take a look around this ship, and that'll be Tom the, gravity be behind you there by the end door here. Boom. I'm in gravity. Right, let's go. Right, we might as well just go straight down. Top of the warp core here. Oh my god, that looks like a... I, I'm sorry, I have to do this. Whoa! <laughs> There's another do door. Oh my god! He <laughs> jumped all the way down. No, no, wait, I fell out the bottom, mate. You opened the walker ejection hatch. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm now outside the ship. I fell past the warp core and into space. <laughs> Epic. So this has the this has the warp core ejection sequence, yeah? But the warp core itself doesn't separate from the ship. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. But it has the thing. It has the hole in the floor. I know you made yeah. one that did do that. Which one was that? Well, that had something similar to this. Yeah. Didn't you make one with an ejectable warp core? Um, there was one I was starting to work on a while back. I was d going to do a galaxy class with an ejectable warp core, which did work. But didn't it, I'd didn't never it, it. Didn't the Enterprise yeah. blow up, even though they ejected the warp core anyway? Shove it out on a rail and no, they, it? it would what, be in, in cool. generations, you mean? I can't remember. It might have been one of the one of the TV shows where they had alternate endings, you know. So like they all die, but then Picard wakes up and he's just took a shower or something. Oh, that know. one. Look at this. Wait. What? Oh, interesting. Nice. Right, should we just get back to the looking around the ship, guys? Yeah, whereabouts? Where? Where rooms? Well, since we're down here. Might as well go this way. Okay. There's an observation lounge right at the front here, so you're just following it all the way down. Okay, let's start. Let's start hustling. Von Doom's already there. How did I manage this? See you later. See ya. You already at the end? He's already there. Enterprise, this is not faction. That's because this stuff in this sector has just been spawned in just for this review session. Oh well, don't mind this little bit, it's supposed Wait, to be like this. Did you just take his no! desk? You've been no! stealing his desk again. No! <laughs> I mean it's a nice valuable desk and all, but no! This <laughs> when I got here. It General. Was, it was like this when he got here apparently. Here yeah. look, I'll tell you what, yeah, I'll um I'll tell you what I can do. What no, I can stand do back. what I can do is Oh crap, that's the wrong button. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good enough? Close enough. <laughs> there we go. All right, wicked. But yeah, nice big conference room here. General was here again. <laughs> General, you like leaving your mark, don't you? Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> right. It Let's could be head worse. Back this way. I bet a lot gets done in this meeting room. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Sorry, I. What? Uh, I had a mis I had a little accident there. <laughs> Sorry. I <Tom> was here. <laughs> <laughs> Just a random orange block. I need to drink more water. <laughs> All right. Next, we're gonna head up a few decks. All right. Where are we going? Upwards. Might as well go around. Use the way I've got in built in on the interior for people to actually oh, get right. between decks. Oh. Most yes. of the people can literally just jump between the two de different decks at any time. Hold on. Wait, we going all the way? Well, come here first, because okay. there's an aft observation port right here. Ah. I see, I see. You can see your ship from here, Tom. What, my camera? Oh yeah, look, it's the stabiliser. Yep. And you can also see the nacelles, which are turned off at the moment because I turned the warp core off. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's something I've rigged up with the Enterprise E as well. Oh, that's cool. I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Oh my god, he's pole dancing. Okay, <laughs> back this way. It'll now, never guys. be the same again. <laughs> Let's move that's on. That's the second time I've done that to this ship. <laughs> right, back up another deck. And, well, more than one deck, actually. Oh, 
Oh, you want Bally's another race, do you, General? Like, what, you want a race? Yeah, you want a race, do you? Yeah? You should yeah? calm it down. On, yeah, oh, I'm the head. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. win. Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Stella cartography here. We'll call it a tie. Oh, wow, look at that. Stella oh, cartography. Nice. Yeah, I have a room similar to this in my um, Starbase. Oh, wow. This is really cool. I like the attention you've done underneath it. Look how dark it is, isn't it? Yeah, I know. We could do some awesome effects using black screen. Easily. Yes. Throw it into the fire, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, we need to head back here, actually, to get up another deck. Oh. And a cargo bay right back here. Oh, hey! Oh, wow. Cambot storage? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> it looks You've good though. Been no, these are them. these are all the cambots he's killed and, and stuff. And look what we can see out there. <laughs> the stuff. Open cambots. it; it's just full of sand. <laughs> yeah, from here we get an even better view of your camera, Tom. <clears throat> Epic. Is there any more rooms to look at? Um, just the bridge. All right, let's go. Back in here, plus nine. Oh, actually, hang on. I'm going to do it in build mode from my camera. It's all good. Okay. It's camera time. I'll make my way up there now. It's camera time. It's camera time. Now, if I remember rightly, I need to go up to deck five. Deck, actually, I'm on... Yeah, it's on deck five, so I should be able to access it from this level. If I remember rightly, because I've got so many ships, it's hard to remember which ones I've got what. Oh, yep, I remember rightly. Just this way, guys. Where's the bridge at? We're nearly at it. I've got to try and find you guys with my x-ray powers. Oh my god, what the hell? I see oh, you. Oh, come on, Emperor. What? My chair. No, it isn't. It's mine. <laughs> You're both no, sitting in this. No, You've merged together. No, Data, something's got me. No, no. <laughs> this situation is unprecedented. <laughs> oh my! Awesome. But yeah, and that's about all there is to see. Excellent. It's a really nice selection of ships. I'm just gonna yep. whisk past this one and then down the line again, just so everyone can see all of these creations. Yeah. In the meantime, we'll head back up to the shuttle base so we can get out of the ship. Yeah. So there they all are. Are any oh, of if these anyone's available? wondering, in there is the warp core again. Did, have you made any of these available for download? Because people no, I don't. Re I don't reveal blueprints no, like that. He hasn't... I don't release them for security reasons. Okay. <laughs> so there's. Don't get any ideas, those. guys. Yeah, there's the ships. <laughs> yeah, come on, be nice. Well, I'm totally not just gonna blueprint wall and put uh, make a blueprint of Doom was here on each of them. Don't even think about it, you that's, fool. That's not even the same... Each one is just renamed the... <laughs> the Doom was here. <laughs> Doom. USS Doom. USS Doom USS Doom, Doom 2. 2. <laughs> Back here. It's all good. So we're just going to take one more look around these ships, and uh, that'll yeah, plus be the stream. Yeah, plus need to go up a little bit more if you want to get up to here. I love that one from Axanar. That looks like one of the most fun um, ones to fly. There's two right of them from Axanar there. The Geronimo oh, really? and the Ares. Oh, so the both of these front two are from the same movie? Those two are from the same video on YouTube, which can be found on YouTube easily, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool, because, well, I think the smaller one looks more fun from my point of view. I like small ships. They're just more fun to fly. Yeah, I built that as an immediate response to a threat at the time. Hmm. And not after watching the Axanar film and seeing what it did, I was like, hmm, that might actually be a good idea. Meanwhile, this Odyssey. Is the Enterprise E an Odyssey class? Or is Sovereign. It Sovereign, right. <clears throat> Some really nice ships, and all fully functional warships in their own right. Yep. All fully functional. Not just Each, And the cargo shells. ships just have basic engines, no jump drive. And no smedit here either. All, all hand by hand. Build. Yeah, everything's hand built. Enterprise has taken a very long time to build all of his ships. 
and um, I can vouch for that because I've seen all of them in various states of construction. Yep. Now like the Enterprise, I've got like I don't know, nearly twenty blueprints of it. Oh, and if you were wondering, I like why... the small cargo ship too. Yeah, if you were wondering, I know it was about... where we started, but I really dig this thing. I think it just it looks beautiful. It and does. Compact, it's and straight I out like of the, the show. Containers. Well, the thing about, in case people were wondering and they're not familiar with um, uh, the containers being full of grills, on our server we allow players to pay for ships by using a metal grill equivalence system. So if you've got the metal grills and you've got the equivalent value to your ship, we'll let you get your ship in that way. So that's Yeah, why... there is a video elsewhere on Tom's channel that will confirm all of this. Hmm... So there Build they the are. And stuff. Yep, mushroom fleet baron system. So but I've is. essentially used two types of meta in one of these ships, being the cargo ship here, well the beta type, with so the um, engine room. Yeah, I know. I love that Y hole drive. So there <laughs> we go, guys. That was Enterprise E's fleet lineup. I want to thank you all for watching the live stream, and as always, I'll see you all next time. That's your cue. Say goodbye. Bye, guys. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs>